time. Next, we've got uh, Blake in New York. Hello, Blake. Hey, how you guys doing? Fine. Good. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, I just wanted to detract from your uh, current topic a little bit, if I could. Uh, first of all, happy uh, Zombie Jesus Day, by the way. Thanks. Um, now, uh, I know you guys were talking a little bit about the transcendental argument uh, just now, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the creation uh, evolution debate. I know you guys talk about that a lot on the show. Uh, and I actually am myself an atheist, so I'm not you know, vouching for the Christians by any stretch of the imagination here. But I came across a uh, semi-interesting piece of evidence for creation the other day. I was wondering if you guys could comment on it. It's about the, uh, I believe it's one of the laws of thermodynamics. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys oh. have talked about this yet already on your show. Um, and what it basically says is that everything in the tangible world is in a constant state of decay. And evolution kind of contradicts that by saying that instead of getting, you know, shorter, dumber, stupider, man is getting bigger, taller, better suited for their environment, or not just not necessarily man, just the whole of mm -hmm. living things, and yeah. everything is getting better suited for the earth, and that's not necessarily a state of decay. That's uh, quite the opposite, actually. Okay, may I take this, please? Because I love the second law of thermodynamics. Uh, Actually, people who say that the uh, second law of thermo thermodynamics uh, s uh, states that everything winds down and decays do not understand the actual second law of thermodynamics. Because what the second law of thermodynamics actually says is that in a closed system, the amount of entropy, which is the amount of energy that is no longer available to do work, will increase. The key factor here is the concept of a closed system. In other words, if you have like a source of heat sitting in a box that is closed and no heat can enter or, or exit the box, then eventually uh, that heat will sort of dissipate and spread out throughout the box and no longer be sort of a focused source of heat. The Earth isn't a closed system. You might no. have noticed, you might look at, notice if you walk out around noon on some days that there's this big giant thing full of energy that is continuously beaming stuff down on the <laughs> Earth. Um, the second law of thermodynamics doesn't say anything in particular about how a system behaves when it's got energy coming in all the time. And as a matter of fact, if you want to believe that the second law of thermodynamics prevents, the law, uh, prevents evolution from happening, you have to also believe that just standing up and walking around is also prevented by the second law of thermodynamics. Because in a closed system, people tend to reach equilibrium with their environment, which means they reach the same uh, state as the, as the world around them, which is a condition technically known as dead. <laughs> people don't just drop dead from the moment they're born because they are constantly eating food and breathing air, which is generated thanks to plants and stuff that get energy from the sun, right? Exactly. Now, uh, just another quick tidbit of this here. You know, I actually just, as I said before, I actually am an atheist, so I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to pick any fights with the guys here. Right. Uh, but, so you really think the, uh, the the whole principle of constant decay isn't valid because the Earth isn't a closed system and there's energy coming in? Is that what you're trying to say, basically? That the second law of thermo thermodynamics does not yeah. apply exactly. to evolution well, on the Earth because okay. there's <laughs> energy coming in to the earth from the sun. Uh, right. Excellent. Okay, thank you. That's really all I needed. Yeah. Right, Thanks bye. for your call, Blake. Bye. Thanks. Uh, yeah, the, the second law of thermodynamics applies everywhere. It's just that it doesn't say what creationists think it says. Ah.